disposal of seeds or fruits. Science Year 5. High pupils, plants have various ways to disperse their seeds or fruits to ensure the survival of their species. Plants need to disperse their seeds or fruits far from the parent plants. Why? Here are some reasons for that. To prevent overcrowding, to increase chances of survival, to avoid extinction due to overcompetition, and reduce competition for space, nutrients, and light. There are four ways to disperse their seeds. Dispersal by explosive mechanism, dispersal by water, dispersal by animals and humans, and dispersal by wind. Okay, Razi has come for a vacation with his family. He asks why there are so many coconut trees in this isolated island. Seed move away from parent plant naturally and reach a distant place. Seeds need suitable conditions of soil, air, water and sunlight. Seeds move away from the parent plant naturally, reach a distant place, get the proper conditions to germinate and then grow into a new plant. So this is how dispersal. Seed dispersal is important for the proper growth of plants. If all the seeds fall on the ground near the parent plant, they will not get enough food, water and sunlight to grow. So, seeds have to spread in a large area to grow well. Now you know what seed dispersal is and how important it is. The next question is how it occurs. Seeds of some plants like pea, when dry, explode and disperse on their own. This method of dispersal is known as dispersal by explosion. Beans Ladies' fingers and poppies are other examples of plants whose seeds are dispersed by explosion. In contrast, there are seeds of certain plants that need some agents for their dispersal. These agents can be wind, water or animals. Let's begin with the wind. Seeds of some plants, like that of cotton, are very light and are dispersed by wind. Seeds of some plants, like that of dandelion, have hair-like projections that help them to be carried by the wind. Now let's see how water helps in seed dispersal. Seeds of plants that grow in or near water bodies like that of coconut float on water and are carried by water to different places. Other examples of seeds that are dispersed by water include the seeds of hydrilla, lotus and water lily. Lastly, let us see how animals act as an agent for seed dispersal. Seeds of some plants, such as that of cockleburr, are surrounded by hooks or spikes, which stick to the body of furry animals and are carried away. Some plants like guava have fruits with very hard seeds. These fruits are eaten by birds and animals like squirrels. The seeds are passed out through their droppings at places distant from the parent plant. Thus, these seeds get dispersed. Now let's recap.
Now there's a familiar bit of everyday wonder. Dandelion seeds in flight. Just blow on a dandelion head and watch the tufts separate and drift off. A block, a mile, maybe 50 miles. Okay, let's recap what we have learned today. And this is your task for today. Happy learning kids. Bye.